how to play the best iPhone prank. Every time this iPhone is plugged into a charger, even if Do Not Disturb is on, it says this. I love electricity. Every time the user opens up the Messages app, there is a 1% chance that the phone will text either their mom or dad a random word. Whenever the snooze is hit on an alarm, it sets the volume to 100% and says this. Wakey, wakey. Yeah, that'll freak them out. And my favorite, every day at sunset, it plays the same song and has a little dance party. And there's nothing you can do. You can't turn down the volume. It just turns it right back up. This is the best iPhone prank ever, and it's native to iOS. You don't need to install anything. All you have to have is access to their phone or know their lock screen password. Let me teach you how. I think it's ending. Oh, finally. Okay, so let's just get rid of that. So guys, a warning, this prank is very powerful and you could really ruin somebody's life, a relationship, their job. So please be aware and smart about how you implement it. Um, please be creative and remember the target needs to find it funny too. Test everything before you implement it and know exactly what is going to happen so you can fix any issues you might run into. Okay, let's do this. The phone needs to be running iOS 15 or higher. Swipe down on the home screen and search for shortcuts. Launch the Shortcuts app and tap Automation. Tap the plus in the top right, then Create Personal Automation. Next, you will need to pick a trigger. This determines when the prank runs. Time of day allows you to pick sunset or sunrise and several hours before or after it, which is great because then the prank won't be at the same time every day. You can also pick alarms or sleep. I was unable to get location triggers and message triggers to work because the phone requires input from the user to run, which would defeat the purpose. Scroll down and you can set it so when any app or multiple apps are open, as well as airplane mode, and all things battery. I haven't tested the focus triggers and I was unable to get the sound recognition to work. Pick your trigger. I will show you two examples. First is the charger when it is connected. Hit next. Now we are on the action screen. If you swipe up from the bottom, you can select all actions to browse through and explore them, but I am going to search for File, then select File. Next, we are going to swipe out of the app and open Voice Memos. Make a recording for whatever you want, then stop and tap the three dots and hit Edit Recording. Hit the Trim button and isolate out just what you want by moving the yellow bars, then hit Trim, then Save. Tap on the title, then rename it then hit Done. Tap the three dots and scroll down to Save to Files. Select On My iPhone, then hit Save. Tap the trash can to delete the recording, then swipe back to the Shortcuts app. Tap the grayed out file, then select your file. If you don't see the file in Recent, hit Browse and navigate to it. Next, add the action Play Sound, then the action Stop This Shortcut. If you don't have the stop, the audio will play twice. Hit next, then turn off ask before running, and hit don't ask. Turn on notify when run, then hit done, then test the automation by plugging it in. This should generate a notification. Open up settings and select screen time, then see all activity. Scroll to the bottom to notifications and select shortcuts. If you can't select it, then toggle the left and right arrows at the top. Once you select it, turn them off. This step only needs to be completed once, not every time you set up an automation. Quit out of settings to hide your tracks, then go back into shortcuts and edit the automation by tapping on it and turn Notify When Run off. You can also edit the when and do by selecting them. For example, I can add a set volume action, then tap and hold and move it to the top. Actions run from top to bottom. If you see a line between two actions, that means they are connected, and the one on the bottom is referencing the one above it. Also, be careful if you choose to set the volume. Currently, at the time of this recording, nothing can silence the audio from happening. Do not disturb, vibration, turning the volume all the way down, nothing will work. You can test your actions by pressing the play button in the bottom right, and use the undo and redo commands in the bottom left. If you want a completely different trigger, you will need to create a new automation. Let's do a more complex one that involves texting people. 
We'll pick app as the trigger, then select messages. We'll pick is opened and hit next. For the actions, we'll pick random number so that way the prank won't run every time, but more randomly, and it will control different people the phone will text. We'll set the range to 1 and 100 for a 1% chance. Next, we want to add the action list. Type in whatever text you want and add as many as you want. Next, add the action get item from list. Tap the first blue field and change it to random item and make sure the second blue field says list. If it doesn't, tap it, then clear variable. Tap it again and select magic variable, then tap the small blue list. Next, add the action if. Tap the first blue field and clear the variable. Tap it again and select magic variable, then tap the small random number. Tap the second blue field and select is. Then tap the next and pick a number that falls within your random number range. Delete otherwise by tapping the X on the right. Add the action, send a message, then move it below the if. It should set the first blue field to item from list, and if it doesn't, you will need to set that. Tap recipients and pick who to send it to. Then add another if action for each person you want to be a potential recipient with a different number. If you change the if statement from is to in between, you can set number ranges so that way one person will have a higher likelihood to receive more messages than others. You can run multiple automations at the same time by setting the triggers to be the same. This is what I used for the Disco Rick role. One automation controls the song being played, and the other is set up with multiple repeat commands that last the duration of the song and are timed to be in sync. This is just the surface. There is so much potential. There are variables you can add. You can run actions based on what the battery level is. Get creative and have fun.